Aloha! You are watching F5 Web Media On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less some of the new features available in Enterprise Manager version 2.2. Enterprise Manager is a centralized management appliance for F5 Big IP devices that gives you a consolidated, real-time view of your entire F5 application delivery infrastructure, plus the tools to quickly optimize performance and scale your infrastructure to meet business needs. So let's start the clock. I've logged on to a Enterprise Manager version 2.2. I'm just here on the welcome screen. You can get traffic summary, performance, statistics, dashboard, and so on. But I'm going to go enterprise management and network objects. We found that the most common operational task by big IP administrators was enable, disable, and force offline for server maintenance. Now this can be time consuming. Locating the devices for which the pool member or node is a member of, and then once found, logging on to that device and then performing the task. And so this feature allows users to search across the entire F5 infrastructure that's managed by EM and fill the container with all objects that need to be disabled, enabled, or forced offline. And then the task can be done in one bulk action. And so here under network objects, EM has done an auto crawl to find everything out there. And here are our nodes all listed up with status pool members, the pools themselves, the virtual servers, and you can also create custom lists. So maybe you have an East Coast build and a West Coast build and you want to manage those separately. So for instance, I'm just going to click on these three and create the list and just do in five list. Okay. And so now I have my custom list here. And you can also do a search up here if you know the name of your device. And then down below, you can see I can either enable, disable, or force offline, or even remove from list. So let's do this, this, remove from list. And so now I only got two. And so this allows administrators to easily perform the disable, enable, or force offline tasks in a single bulk action. And so next, we want to go to reports right above network objects. And so here we've created a number of reports, the certificate inventory, device inventory, LTM object activity. Like for instance, the LTM object activity report shows the top number of objects. So virtual server pool pool member of the most active or least active as defined by connections or bandwidth. And so it gives you an idea of which ones are up the top and which ones are at the bottom. And even SSL TPS usage will give you a report that shows the SSL TPS utilization, including the peak value. And so I don't have any records here to display, so I'm just going to create one. Let's name it N5 SSL. And I'm going to choose all of these devices next. You can do it for a date range. You can run the report over intervals. You can have it emailed to you, but I'm just going to run it now for this particular date range. Submit. And now I have the report. And so I can click on it. And so it should be running in the background. And now let's view. And it gives me a PDF. Let's download that real quickly and open it. And so you can use these for your meetings and so forth. So here's the report, observed, max, max licensed for those particular nodes and one for each one. There you go with that. And then finally, let's look at alerts. I think we got time for one more, yep. And so maybe you wanna create an alert, say for service contract end date. And so let's create an alert in five alert. And the alert type, you can see device status change, software completion, certificate expiration. Let's do service contract expiration. What are the conditions or a custom condition? Create the type of actions. Let's add the nodes over here and let's just do all devices and finished. Oh, 
create an action. Sorry. There we go. Finished. And now I have this alert. Some more cool things available in Enterprise Manager version 2.2 is the virtual edition of Enterprise Manager. So now you'll be able to run Enterprise Manager in your virtualized environment. There's also external database available. So the ability to point to an external database to store the performance monitoring metrics that are collected. So you've seen the customized views, the service contract end date. And so there you have it. Some of the cool new features in Enterprise Manager version 2.2 in five minutes or less. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com and follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.